Odds makers name the Detroit Lions the betting favorite to land defensive and chase Young in a potential trade on June 9. The Lions have also been connected to several edge rushers and free agency such as Yannick Ngakwe. Perhaps another option for the Lions if they are serious about adding an edge rusher before training camp is Jacksonville Jaguars former first-round pick Kale Von Chasen. Sports Illustrated's Albert Breer wrote on May 17 that it'd hardly be a shocker if the Jaguars traded Chasen before the season. Jacksonville selected Chasen at number 20 overall in the 2020 NFL Draft, but he's failed to deliver a suitable return on that draft investment. Last season, Chasen was pushed into a reserve role with the arrival of number one overall pick Travon Walker. Chasen appeared in nine games, posting 10 combined tackles, including one tackle for loss, two quarterback hits and one sack. He missed a big portion of the middle of the season because of a knee injury. In three years, Chasen has posted seven tackles for loss, 15 quarterback hits and three sacks in 40 games. Could the Jaguars trade edge rusher Caleb on Chasen? In light of the disappointing first three seasons, the Jaguars declined to pick up Chasen's fifth-year option for 2024. Bleacher Report's Christopher Knox argued on June 5 that the Jaguars shouldn't even bother keeping Chasen for 2023. It's time for Jacksonville to move on, Knox wrote. Chasen hasn't worked out for the Jaguars, and he doesn't project as a key piece of a resurgent franchise looking to become a perennial contender. He's more valuable to the Jags as a trade chip than a back-of-the-roster depth piece. Knox speculated that the Jaguars should be able to get a late-round pick or player back for Chasen. Perhaps the Lions could use their trade of cornerback Jeff Okuda as a barometer for a Chasen deal. Detroit shipped Okuda who was the number 3 overall pick in Chasen's same draft class, to the Atlanta Falcons for a fifth-round pick. The Lions also agreed to pay part of Okuda's salary for 2023. Based on that deal, a fifth or perhaps even sixth-round pick seems appropriate for Chasen. How Chasen Potentially Fits with the Lions Lions general manager Brad Holmes added a lot of new pieces to the team's defense this offseason but the Lions could still use an edge rusher or defensive line help. Last season, Detroit finished tied for 18th in the NFL with 39 sacks. The Lions were also 29th in rushing defense and 30th in passing yards allowed. They could use all the help they can get at pressuring opposing quarterbacks and run defense. Chasen hasn't been able to fulfill his potential as an edge rusher in the NFL, but perhaps a change of scenery will help for a fifth-round pick or lower. It's worth the risk for the Lions, who could just let the former number 20 pick leave in free agency next March if he doesn't improve. If he shows promise, though, Chasen is only 24 years old, and the cost to land him would have been extremely cheap. Perhaps the biggest question about Chasen fitting in Detroit is the position he would play for the Lions. Chasen has played outside linebacker in Jacksonville's 3-4 base defense since 2020. The Lions deploy a 4-3 scheme, which would mean Chasen switching to defensive end. The Lions could keep Chasen at linebacker, but the team has depth at that position, particularly if second-year player James Houston can repeat his performance from the second half of 2022. Detroit could bring in Chasen to compete with Houston. But the ideal summer addition for the Lions defense is an edge rusher who is going to be on the field at the same time as Houston and defensive end Aiden Hutchinson.